Uh, and now we're briefly going to cover the topics of podcasts and shoutcasts uh, and how to access them. There are two different menus in it, but it's the same basic logic. And I want to minimize the number of videos on this. Uh, we'll just come along here and we'll just go, um, okay, an arrow over, we'll say, quickly to um, podcast, we'll say. Uh, come in here, anyway, uh, featured publishers. Um, so the main one here is BBC. BBC are high quality, a lot of stuff, and it seems to be accessible almost everywhere. So you just come along here and go BBC. And um, uh, what do you call it? So I go in here and Five Live, I know is going to be sport. So if you just look at the total amount inside BBC, they have uh, 16 different sections. So I'll just go for the sport one, which you know might be of interest to a lot of people. And um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, we'll say we'll just come down here to uh, Sports Week, right? We'll press OK here, bring it up, and this here is a radio broadcast on it. Um, so I'll buffer up here in a few seconds and then we'll be able to see some things here. So we can see here, this is 2011 May. The date is the 15th, okay? This thing here is a couple of days old, but it's sports week thing. And we can turn the volume up here if you want. Uh, I'm across the thing anyway, I'm on the television here. We're obviously displaying this on television, and we could do it through the unit itself, but um, just hit 100 to display it to the, uh, for the videos in this way. Uh, so just return it out there, okay? Uh, so it's quite good. The, the pro I suppose the real problem I have with podcasts is that, I mean, that it seems to be relatively um, uh, limited uh, uh, to access to other types of podcasts here. So you can see in podcasts there, there's only a total of about nine things there. So there's okay stuff in there, but um, unlike with the radio where you have everything, it's more limited here. Um, what we'll do here is just go over shoutcast here. Um, when we have that thing playing, if you play it continuously, you have to choose something else again. We'll come down here to the shoutcasts. Which I've actually found quite good now. I enjoyed uh, the shoutcast here, listening to some good stuff on the earlier today. And we'll come in, we'll say, to uh, Blue Planet uh, Prank Radio. Now that's a top list again there simply because I've listened to this a few times. It caught that I, I seem to like this, and then it moves the top of the list rather than make me scroll for it. I can also hit the favourite buttons here and add this into the favourite menu. Just wait a minute. So this thing here is called prank calls, so they're actually just doing prank calls to guys. Um, some of the stuff earlier today was a bit childish, but actually quite funny. So if you're in that type of humour, you can just go in there, sort of on a loop, you can go in and listen to it anyway. With the podcast, if you go in and kick into it, it starts at the start of the programme. The shoutcast is more like a live broadcast. You just come in where you are in that particular program anyway. Um, and there's quite a large amount of content. And I think allowing people to choose by the category that the most interesting things of this will suit to a lot of people as well. So that's, what again, another great feature. But really what makes this box so good, I think anyway, is the fact that it makes it so simple to uh, use like the technology and the, the amount of technical proficiency you knew, need to set it up and particularly afterwards to use it is very, very limited. And like with your remote control, when you press something, it actually happens. You don't need to sit on top of it and jump. But like the range the remote control will work for is about five meters, six meters away from it that will test it easily and probably if you push it a little bit further. Um, so that's quite impressive in itself. So that, anyway, that's an overview of both podcasts and shoutcasts available uh, through the Zara HMT uh, 350.